One man inspired me to create a video about samples in video game music, specifically from Sega games, and that man is the one and only Hideki Naganuma. The original video has received a lot of views, and until now I've been happy to wallow in my own mess rather than actually bring you what you really honestly want. You're after the follow-up that I promised back when I created my original video. I asked for help finding where Hideki Naganuma's samples originated from, and you came forward in droves to deliver interesting tidbits and reveal some fascinating potential samples, including those that don't appear in Hideki's work, but in the work of other Sega artists. I have inspired some of you to create accounts on sampling websites and submit the samples you've found. I've even been noticed on another website. Hey, are you THE escape route from YouTube? Damn straight. I spent a long time trying to work out how to approach a follow-up to the Hideki Naganuma video. I've come to the conclusion that really, I just need to use the same structure. Let's mention all the samples that we have gone and found together after which I intend to discuss some things concerning where you can find Hideki Naganuma's music for sale, what I believe to be his official YouTube account, how to locate him on other social media platforms, and perhaps even what connection he really has to Skankfunk, which produces similar sounding music. Actually, I can answer that one with real irrefutable proof. Let's begin with the samples. I'll get this one out of the way immediately, as several of you identified the Amen Break. The Amen Break is a breakdown from a 1969 song titled Amen Brother by the Winstons. It's an instrumental version of the famous religious song Amen. This drum beat could well be the most sampled thing of all time. It can be heard in the B.B. Wright's remix of Sweet Soul Brother. Here it is in the Knuckles boss battle music from Sonic Advance 2. Here it is in Endless Possibility from the Sonic Unleashed soundtrack. It truly is a pervasive sample that has appeared just about everywhere. There are a number of documentaries about the Armin break on YouTube, go check one of them out if you're interested. The quickfire gibberish sample in Grace and Glory from 18 to 20 seconds was found by Leon Villitz in a sound library installed on the computers he uses in his audio production class. Excellent find. Here's the sample as it appears in Grace and Glory. <laughs> And here is the sample on its own. While it is unknown from which sample collection this originates, we can assume that Sega provided Hideki Naganuma with either the same or a similar sample pack. It is good to be able to hear the sample clearly, rather than at a low volume and muffled as it appears in Grace and Glory. This sample was mentioned by BalookFan337. This is awesome, I'd have never found this in a hundred years, and I'm a Beatles fan. The 1, 2, 3, 4 sample, used in Richard Jake's Everybody Jump Around, is from the introduction of the Beatles I Saw Her Standing There. It has been slowed down slightly to avoid being easily recognised. Despite not being from a Hideki track, I've included it here for completion's sake, as well as because the song originates from a Sega game. There are a lot of non-Hideki samples we will be covering. Here's the sample from its original location. One, two, three, five. Here it is in Jet Set Radio's Everybody Jump Around. Identify the beats. One, two, three. But that was too soft. <laughs> Sweet Soul Brother and The Music Just Turns Me On, we can now assume come from a sample library, as they have appeared in Cold Cut's remix of Eric B and Rakim's Paid in Full, posted by Dark and the Black Dust. Here they are in their respective Jet Set Radio tracks. Sweet 
and here they are from Paid in Full. Oh my gosh, the music just turns me on. As mentioned in the last video, that Sweet Soul Brother sample came from Charles Shirell. Sega Hamilton Zone spotted that the same countdown used in Something Jazzy for Your Mind appears in Mega Bump by the Bass Bumpers. Again, this means we can assume the sample comes from an existing sample library that Hideki Naganuma has access to. Here's the sample in Something Jazzy. <laughs> And here is the sample in Megabump. From the very same bass bumpers track, noticed by Codeman38, a sample of a voice saying, here we go now, appears. That sample is used in Shape to Future from Jet Set Radio Future, composed by Hideki Naganuma. The sample? Here we go now. And how it appears in Jet Set Radio Future. So not only did the two samples appear in the same track, they could be part of the same sample itself. Exciting. Disconnected from Hideki Naganuma for a moment, we did touch on this guy before, it's Tomoya Otani. Thanks to Freen in Green, I've been made aware that the voice samples used by Otani in Hang Castle in Sonic Heroes are actually from a Roland JV2080 synthesizer. I guess we now know that Otani uses a Roland to compose the synthesizer melodies in his tracks, right? Also, Freen and Green says that Naganuma and Otani have confirmed that Sega has purchased a lot of sampling library CDs, available for all Sega artists to use freely and legally in their music. So the only thing left to do is either break into Sega HQ and steal the samples, or become a Sega musician? Oh, if only my talents were recognised. Mentioned by a fair few of you, Tomoya Otani and Hideki Naganuma have both used the same piece of music before. Border 70, Something Jazzy for Your Mind Mix, has this wonderful section of music. Later used by Tomoya Otani for Sonic Unleashed Windmill Isle Daytime Stage. The resemblance is uncanny, so I have to assume it's the same piece of music. The question now is whether it appears anywhere else. No, I refuse to do it. Alright, fine. It appears in the ending theme to children's TV show Jelly Jam. Well, that's one good thing that came from watching children's TV. Ample Renitence tells us that the voice sample here in Like It Like This Like That Like This Like That Like Like That I like it, I like it! Is from a Speedy Gonzalez cartoon, Cat Tales for Two. Why did you hit yourself on the head for, George? I like it, I like it! You're awesome, has anybody told you that? Ample Renitence has also posted that Funk to the Top uses two public enemy samples. Here's the first. We gonna do a song that you never heard before. And its appearance in Public Enemy's Brother's Gonna Work It Out. And here is the second. And its appearance in Public Enemy's You're Gonna Get Yours. Thanks to the point zero nine for correcting me on the Lynn Collins sample in That's Enough. While the song does contain a Lynn Collins sample, the sample I claimed was Lynn Collins was in fact from Touch and Go by Ecstasy, Passion and Pain. The Lynn Collins sample so, oh, you'd better think. where it appears in That's Enough and the sample I got it confused with and as it appears in Touch and Go by Ecstasy, Passion and Pain. <laughs> Thanks for the correction there, point zero nine, and thank you for identifying the sample I got wrong too. 
Use a free star 22. Notice that the sample in back to back is used in the same way as start the commotion by the wise guys. But I think we've uncovered something else actually. Listening to the samples over and over, I've come to a shocking conclusion. Hideki Naganuma didn't sample Lue Lue, he sampled Start the Commotion. Here's back to back. Here's Start the Commotion. And here's Start the Commotion sped up to sound right. It's irrefutable as far as my ears hear it. The boss battle music in the Japanese Sonic CD soundtrack samples Work That Sucker To Death by Xavier. Thank you for Sadik Wade for reminding me to include it. Cheers Traver Carlton for letting us know that I said it before I claimed was from a Ramrod track is actually a public domain sample that featured on a disc that went around the late 80s early 90s to be used by DJs and producers. Now all I need to know is what sampling CD that was and where to get it. So Ramrod used the sample rather than being the actual origin of the sample. I mentioned in a vlog about Norman Cook's skip to my loops. I'll go over again what I discovered A for completion's sake and B in case you didn't see the vlog in question. Mr Sonic 669 and Mitchell Johnson also suggested in the comments to check out skip to my loops and I was surprised to find just how many samples Hideki has actually used. Here is each sample that I'm sure for definite has been used by Hideki Naganuma, labelled with its file name within the skip to my loops collection. There could be more of them. For instance, I didn't go through the drum beats because including those, there are over 1,000 samples in the collection. 328 Cook. I think we got a hit record. Got a hit record, have you? Sounds like this was used in Sonic Rush. Hit record. 332 Cook. I didn't think this one was used anywhere at first, but then it dawned on me. Three, 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 cook. Dun, 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 dun. Ethno Circus called it once it's done's back. It is possible that either this sample was ripped from Donny by the It, or that the It used this sample for Donny. Three, three, four, cook. Eat it up, my selector. Shot like this could I never miss. It's a what? Eat it up, my selector. Oh, like in Sonic CD's boss music. <laughs> the same sample appears in the Funk Star Deluxe remix of Bob Marley's Sun is Shining. 351 Cook. And you don't stop, you proceed, because this is what you need. We all know where this was used. Three six eight cook. Step by step. Step by step, as used in Velanova from Sonic Rush. Three three eight cook. Keep stepping at your own pace. Keep stepping at your own pace. Border seventy again, right? Keep stepping at your at your keep stepping at your keep stepping at your own pace stepping keep stepping at your at your keep stepping at your keep stepping at your own pace stepping. Three nine three cook. Come along, children. Now we're going to have a little music like old times. Look, now I'll start the melody on the organ. This one is as blatant as transition between night and day. Come along, children. Now we're going to have a little music like old times, like old times. Now I'll start the melody on the organ. 397 Cook. I'll have whatever she's having. This is used in Velanova. Four 
406 Cook. Understand the concept of love. The concept of love in all its glory. But it's actually from the Free Huey Rally speech. We do not understand the concept of love. Here are a group of Zionists who come anywhere they want to. Thanks, Jay Royerson, for the origin of this sample. 423 Cook. Feeling hot, 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 hot. There's that feeling hot sample from Arrow's Hot, 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 used in What You Need. Zero seven six cook. This is a bit unconnected, perhaps. But doesn't this sound like part of the graffiti soul jingle? Yeah. Money. One nine three cook. Come in, Mr. DJ. You might remember this one and Scar Cha Cha. So once again, either the sample was cut from a tribe called Quest. I left my wallet in El Segundo, or they used the sample. I want to say that the sample originates from I left my wallet in El Segundo. Why? Well firstly because the samples run on a bit further in the original track than this actual sample does. And two, Norman Cook is the man who remixed I left my wallet in El Segundo and created the infamous vampire mix. 221 Cook. Could it be this? Here's one I've discovered. Get ready for a really strange one from Yellow Bream, a song by F Fields that appeared in the original version of Jet Set Radio. At the end, there are some strange noises and a German voice. Halt! Mein Freund, wer wird denn gleich in die Luft gehen? Greife lieber zur HB, dann geht alles wie von selbst. This is an advert containing the Harbi Manchen, one of the most recognizable figures in the history of German television advertising. Here's the advert it's from. Halt! Mein Freund, wer wird denn gleich an die Decke gehen? Greife lieber zur HB, dann geht alles wie von selbst. I've never heard murmurings of this sample being included in any packs, so this sample, I'm assuming, was intentionally taken. Thanks again to the Point Zero Nine, who has also revealed that something for your mind, body, and soul from something jazzy for your mind is actually from the a cappella version of Let No Man Put Asunder by First Choice. Here is the sample as it appears in Ollie King. Something for your mind, your body, and soul. Something for your mind, your body, and soul. And here is First Choice. I got something for your mind, your body, and your soul. Every day of my life. This little bit of CNC Music Factory's Gonna Make You Sweat Sounds like Grace and Glory, doesn't it? <laughs> Cheers, um, Logie? I, th I, th I think that says Logie. This is why you lot are amazing. You are all amazing. You know that, right? The tune in, turn on, drop out from Rock It On is from a Timothy Leary speech from 1967. Here's Rock It On. Tune in. Turn on. Rock, rock, oh. And here's the speech. Turn on. Tune in. And drop out. Excellent find, Niz Chashi. Oh, so it looks like the That's Just Plain Old Poppycock in Oldies But Happies. That's just plain. Poppycock. Is from a Richard Nixon speech. That's just plain poppycock. We're gonna stay on this job till we get the job done. Cheers, Yellow Raccoon 55. The Boy in Black discovered the rapping on Let It Go is from the Master Bits Rhapsody Vocals 2 sample CD. I've listened to a track specifically made to show off the pack and its samples, and I am 110% sure that this one is correct. This is the rap from Let It Go. And here's the sample track made with Rhapsody Vocals 2. Mr. Lyrical paragraphs, your tracks make me laugh. You're front of the microphone, you didn't pass math. And science, the main ingredient to be the fun, something fittest. You did it, and yo, I ain't with it. 
The real question now is if those wraps were made especially for the Master Bits packs. I'm convinced they were. XX Crush 40 XX, who goes by the name Biggest Sonic Fan on WhoSampled.com, discovered a sample in Sonic Freerider's theme of Dolphin Resort. The line, Shake It, Don't Break It, originates from Sugar Hill Gang's Eighth Wonder. Here's the sample in Freeriders. <laughs> And here it is in the original Sugar Hill Gang track. Excellent find. Cheers to Leon Valitz for providing a link to a topic on the Sonic Stadium message boards where the samples in Sonic music have been discussed. According to Double Agent Motobug, who has conversed with Hideki Naganuma before, it has been revealed that Hideki Naganuma was not aware of the similarities between something jazzy for your mind and Windmill Isle. Hideki has also said that he did not use Lue Lue for back to back, that instead, the samples came from a different song. That is enough clarification for me that Hideki actually sampled the Wise Guys. What is interesting is that Hideki Naganuma has also claimed to have worked on a PSP or 3DS game under a different name. More about that in a moment because it's a fascinating thing to discuss. Still not happy unless going above and beyond the Call of Duty, Double Agent Motobug also placed To The Batmobile Let's Go from Todd Terry's Bango. To the Batmobile. Let's go. Which obviously comes from the 1960s Batman live action show, I know Adam West's voice when I hear it. This sample, however, was used in Get Noisy from Sonic Shuffle. Let's go. And the Sonic CD 6290 mix from Sonic Gems Collection. Let's go. In the same thread, Not Ominous posted that the Go sample that punctuates launch base in Sonic 3. Is actually taken from Run DMC's Peter Piper. But sped up about 30%. Listening to Peter Piper just now, this scratch sounds awfully familiar <laughs> to this. Super Spin Dash discovered in a free sample pack this little treat. Everybody reach, reach to the top. Everybody reach up, don't stop, don't stop. But there's disagreement in the thread as to whether or not it can be heard in the Japanese starter Speedway present from Sonic CD. It wasn't used there. One thing with no room for debate is where the sample in question has been used by Hideki Naganuma, discovered by Selena the Jackrabbit in Funk to the Top. A lot of what I already covered was posted in the Sonic Stadium thread, but here's a few I either knew, and didn't mention, or didn't know at all. Okay, first is the Sonic CD boss music from the Japanese version. It also samples backing from I Can't Go For That, No Can Do by Hall & Oates. Here's the Hall & Oates version. Here's the Sonic CD version. That song has been a personal favourite of mine for some time. It's great to now know why I am subconsciously drawn to it. The beat kicks and I start rocking. That sample is from Cool Chip and Chuck Chillout's Rhythm is the Master. This is when I start, there is no stopping. The beat kicks, then I start rocking. This sample was used in Sonic Rush Adventure's boss theme. Wait a second, this was in Skip to My Loops. 339, Cook. The beat kicks, then I start rocking. The flute sound is Sonic R's Back in Time. Is the same flute sound used in Sonic Unleashed Jungle Joyride daytime stage. Thanks for that one, Voyant.
Bonus round. Some people think Bridge Zone on Sonic 1 on the 8-bit systems is a reworking of a Janet Jackson melody, but it isn't. Yes, there's a similarity between the Janet Jackson song and Bridge Zone, but there's similarities between lots of pieces of music. Whether or not they sample or use them, that's something that can only really be explained by the original artist. It's sometimes easier for artists to be coincidental. What isn't a coincidence is a reworking of one of Yuzo Koshiro's older works, Maya's theme, from Dragon Slayer 4 Drazel Family on the MSX. You can't unhear this once I've revealed it to you. Maya's theme. Bridge Zone. Bridge Zone. Mayor's Theme. He just reused his older work. Brilliant all the same though. With the video already starting to go on for a while, Logie has provided even more solid material while I was writing it. But okay, let's go through it all. Firstly, Hideki Naganuma has used a lot of loops that come pre-packaged with GarageBand, leading me to believe that he must be using GarageBand to compose some of his tracks. In this particular track, The Spreading Chestnut Tree, remixed by Hideki Naganuma, Logie has counted around 10 GarageBand samples. Also, in a discussion with Moto 200 Alt, he brought up that a sample Hideki Nakanuma had used in Ollie King also appeared in a mix called Gaben.com. I approached the creator of Gaben.com, Mast GRR, I'm not going to pronounce it Mast Grrr, who said the loop in question came from the default loops available in GarageBand. We shouldn't need any more proof that Hideki uses GarageBand software. Logie has informed me that samples which appear in DJ Puzzle's free DJ Scratches sample pack were used by Hideki Naganuma in Funk to the Top. In the Climax 10 Ad Libs Vocals 3 pack produced by Masterbits, we have the conclusive answer to the origin of the rap used in Ethno Circus, brought to my attention by Logie and discovered by the Super Spin Dash. Trish, the track attack a weak rapper, mac a smack a spectator kid napper. I feel sorry for all the people who thought it said taco. Thank you very much to the Super Spin Dash for letting me use your video in my video. I appreciate it a lot. There are also a few maybe and maybe nots in work by Skank Funk, who may or may not be Hideki Naganuma, but he is, he so is. More on that in a moment. I have reason to believe that the Funky Dealer YouTube channel is Hideki Naganuma's YouTube channel. Why exactly? Because rare, special versions of his works have been uploaded, including the digital remaking version of Ethno Circus. This never made the Sonic Rush soundtrack release in any form. Tracks where the name isn't known appear with what I assume to be full and correct names. There are two remixes of Miki from Guitar Vader's song, Juku Ananka Ikanai. And in one of them, we can hear a lot of Hideki's favourite samples. Hideki uses samples everywhere, and there are samples he clearly enjoys using because they turn up again and again. Hideki Naganuma has, under his own name, worked on music for animated shows. His remix of Captain Stradum's Fusengum is used as the official closing music for the first season of Gintama.
when I found out that this was Hideki Naganuma's own remix, I couldn't contain the excitement. It was no wonder that I had liked that remix so much. Hideki Naganuma had made it. Thumbs up Hideki, you doing fine. You can find Hideki Naganuma on Facebook. Search in the bar or go to his profile URL, facebook.com slash Hideki dot Naganuma and send him a friend request. He's pretty accepting of random friend requests. He posts music that influences him as well as places where you can buy his music. Hideki also has an official Twitter account, which is at Hideki underscore Naganuma. There is a lot of interesting information posted on his Twitter, and he does respond to questions. There's so much to learn by going through his tweets, and if you're even remotely interested in his music, I suggest you check his Twitter profile out. Through tweeting, he has also revealed interesting things about the games he has scored. There is music on the Funky Dealer channel that appears under the artist name Skank Funk. I mentioned earlier that Hideki Naganuma worked on a game soundtrack under a different name, and I have reason to believe that this is what he's talking about. Skank Funk. What has Skank Funk made? Skank Funk has worked on the soundtrack to the animated TV series Air Gear, the soundtrack to Super Monkey Ball 3D, and contributed tracks to entries in the Ryuga Katoku series, among others. Alright, here's the concrete proof. This isn't game theory, this is game fact. Here's a series of tweets between Hideki Naganuma and Kadosho that tells us everything. Never heard this track before. Love how crazy this song gets the more you listen. Ever collaborated with them before? Not them, it's him. Collaboration? Ha ha ha. You should check that all of Skank Funk's works out. That's all I can say. Aha. Uh -huh. I see, well that makes sense. I have heard their music style before. That soundtrack is addicting. Surprised. Good for you. I'll tell it to him, lol. And then, it just dawned on me. That's you, haha. <laughs> Smiley face. Now that we all know Hideki Naganuma is completely, undoubtedly, Skank Funk, let's have a look at one very interesting sample used by Skank Funk in the track Neo Frantic. Here's a small sample from five seconds into Neo Frantic. Here it is again. Okay, I'm just gonna get right to it. Here's the Pokemon cry for the legendary Pokemon Heatran. Yep, that's a definite. Not much else to say. It's time for the conclusion. With your help, and with what must have been decades of research between us, we have uncovered a large number of samples used by Hideki Naganuma and other Sega artists. We have discovered the identity of Skank Funk, found out that the lyrics in Ethno Circus do not say Taco Taco. We found that Skip to My Loops contains a large number of samples Hideki Naganuma has used. There are other sample collections that I have been pinpointed to where other samples appear. And what I will be doing is doing shorter, smaller videos, sort of like vlogs, once I have enough samples to fill a video, rather than leave it two years like this one. Hideki Naganuma and Skank Funk's music tracks can be found on the Funky Dealer YouTube channel, located at youtube.com slash user slash M-O-J-A-H-O-I-H-O-I, Moja Hoi Hoi. Hideki's most recent publicly known project at the time of recording is contributing towards the soundtrack of an upcoming indie game called Hover, Revolt of Gamers. You can find many Hideki Naganuma and Skank Funk tracks available to buy on iTunes and on the Amazon MP3 store. There is only one thing left to do then. I'm going to thank each and every one of you who had provided samples or just commented something positive on the original Hideki Naganuma samples video, as well as the people whose discoveries I've borrowed from the Sonic Stadium message boards and other places. I could just say thank you to each and every one as a whole, but that isn't the way I'm going to do this. Every one of you who helped or supported me in some way deserves recognition. So here goes, and I apologize for the pronunciation. Special thanks, Noah Lipsy, Leon Velitz, JC Zero, ADI, Reaper of the Damned 07, Mitchell Johnson, KidVid711, Michor Hayat, Nico Sol, The Long Chew, Regio Filo, MI777KE777. Snow Okami Z, Anthony Misquez, Mind of Creativity, Jay Royerson, Kwame Busia, 
Arbiterus Elite 69, Isu Terur, Ridimensol, The Boy in Black, Zerg X, Visual Prime, T2 Norway, Zone 51 The Dream God, <sighs> Starmageddon, Boluk Fan 337, CDM 966, Jean Gaspard, Aino White, Orshan, CC 219 HMD, Max.93, LBBOD0, Turbo Plant, Maku Aya, Nishchashi, Oheo, Decon Theed 92, Three Son Glover, The Frantic Five, Build a Carmine, Daft Mao 514, Levicious, Sup Bra, Andre Yin, Sadik Wade, Mac Huber, Roman Knight, XX Crush 40 XX, Mr. Sonic 699, Sonemon V2, Darker Than Black Dast, Yellow Raccoon, Christopher Vasquez, DJ Beethoven, Death Miracle, Bar, Andre Yin. Did I say that twice? Yes, I did. Free Star 22, Ben 10 Ultra Matrix, Sega Hamilton Zone, DJ Dan, Nap, XXX Diuk XXX, Flosoff, Clutchy Music, Traver Carlton, Isaiah Eddington, Freen in Green, Codeman 38, Logie, Edward the Magnificent, The Point 09, Ample Renitence, Matt the Sprat, Night Hal 1, E3 Tiger, Mars 37 US, Gino Zump, Hugh Pow 00, Zero DJ Ear, Moto 200 Alt, Masker, Sonicu Forever, Sean, Voyant, Double Agent Motobug, Dude Man Guy, Not Ominous, Super Spin Dash, Celerina the Jackrabbit, On the Metro, and anybody else I may have possibly missed. Thank you very much for watching. It's been great fun actually doing this project. I wish I hadn't I wish I hadn't left it for so long. It's good to finally put out a follow-up video and this time have what I believe to be a much stronger set of samples and I look forward to doing smaller, more more regular videos about Hideki Naganuma's samples to top up what we found between us. And as always, if you find any samples, just post them here or on the comments of the original video, send me a Google Plus message, I think I get notifications for those, drop me an email, escaperoute.british at gmail.com, or even send me a message on Tumblr, or send me an ask on Tumblr. That's Tumblr, Escape Route British. And I look forward to doing another video sometime in the near future on the subject of Hideki Naganuma and his samples. Until next time if we live that long.